Good morning, this is Alan from Spotless Scarfer Cleaning. We're back in Wayham. Wrong two. Wrong two. After VCT tile stripping and waxing. I'm already inside. It's a little bit cold outside today, a little bit windy, but the job still has to be done. So I'm gonna show you the floor. It's the same like last week, but I'm gonna show you the condition of this one. There we go, so this is the room I'll be doing this morning. It had some mat on the floor, so you can see the track line from around the mat. So they had some tape holding the mat down, I gotta take that off. But you can see all the dirty part outside here. This is where the mat was compared to inside. So this is the room inside. It's the same like the others, but you can see it's heavily soiled, dirty, a lot of dirt from outside, kids, you know, heavy traffic area. But over here, they had a mat here, a rug. You can see the, the imprint from where it was. They had some tape pulling on the edges and you can see the outside where it's very dirty and inside where it's very clean. It's the same like carpet cleaning. The heavily traffic area will be dirty and the area that was covered will always be clean. So I'm gonna be taking up this tape and putting down my stripper. I already had it mixed in the bucket here. So I'll be taking up those tape and putting the stripper down, letting it dwell for a while. I have my wife helping me this morning again, my right hand. So we're gonna get started on this project here. We have another room to do. So. I'm gonna be putting on the stripper right now. Good morning guys, me and my wife having breakfast. <laughs> Look at us, our little chair, our little table. Like the kitties. Hi, how are you? We're in our <laughs> first date all over again. We're having some coffee with some croissant and cream cheese. <laughs> Croissants? Croissants and cream cheese. Thank you very much. So the strip has been down for 10 minutes while we've been while we were having breakfast. So it's time to get to work. in a black pad with a 175 and you can already see the stripper doing its thing removing the dirt removing the wax Using a 175 is just like dancing. You have it to your hip. Like I have it right here. And you're just moving from side to side. Like you and your partner on the dance floor. To a nice slow jam. And you're just moving from side to side. Enjoying the music. Enjoying the moment. Right now I'm just enjoying cleaning this flow with my machine and that's all it takes with the 175 with a lot of practice and eventually you will get the hang of the 175.
lot of you may be wondering where I learned to use the 175. I started <clears throat> using the 175 when I started working for Cannibal Cruise Line. We had a team of um, four guys, two was in the morning, and two was on the night shift. I was on the night shift. We were called the shampoo men. And we used to do a lot of bonnet cleaning for the hallways, the dining room, and the show laundries. And we did a lot of strip on, strip on wax and the cruise ships for the crew mess. And this is where I learned the use of the 175 and how to strip, how to wax, how to bonnet clean. We used to use some um, portable the power flights. It was a blue box square, similar to the Jaguar, and that's what that was our method of cleaning carpets on the cruise ship. You know, but things have changed so much that right now they have better equipment. They still use the 175, I think. But now they have better portables that they use on the ship for maintaining the carpets and all that stuff. So yeah, that's where I learned to use the 175. I learned about different type of cleaning. And I'm now applying it back here in my little business I have. And it's been proven very useful. over in room number two finish room number one we're just letting it dry we're starting the stripping process at the other side of this room as you can see this room is heavily soil a lot of dirt on the floor Of this VCT has, has some heavy scratch marks inside that will not um, move just by the pulling of the furniture and uh, this tile has um, some scratches that have been embedded in the tile from the pulling of all the heavy furniture and the floor so that will not come out Corners on the edge, I will come back with a flat pad and clean the edges. And as you can see, the 175 can only get certain places. But in the corners and the edges, I will use a flat pad to uh, clean that.
So I'm about to apply the first coat of wax and the first room. Have my bucket here, flat map. And here we go. Starting in this corner first, walking my way over to the opposite side. First coat I put on is very, very light, very thin, so it can dry very quick. And then the second one. I'll come back a little bit heavier than the last one. It'll be much heavier than all of the rest. So you can have a nice top finish. 